I'm making spaghetti bolognese, the Slimming World version. It's really not much different from the regular spaghetti bolognese that I usually make um, because I make it from scratch. The main difference is that I'm using this 5% fat steak mince. I usually use, I think it's the 20%. You get a big pack, a big kilo pack for £3 something at Tesco usually. But um, I'm using this. This is for my one. And this is actually maybe, hopefully, going to do me at least three or four meals by the time I've cooked it. I'm also using some Italian passata with garlic and herbs. And adding some Italian chopped tomatoes to that. To make the bolognese go further, I'm adding some red kidney beans. And they're great for protein. I'm not using regular olive oil. I'm using the fry light version. So that makes it a bit more slim and world. A salt and pepper. Oregano and basil, two oxo cubes, onion. I usually just add an onion to my bolognese because um, Mark and Ali, they, they don't like a lot of veg in their bolognese, so I'm doing theirs separately. But I'm going to add some aubergine, not the whole aubergine, I'll add maybe half of that, maybe half the courgette. And these mushrooms, there's only three because they're absolutely massive. I don't know if it picks up on camera how big these are, but I'm going to add all that in. The vegetables and the kidney beans and the chopped tomatoes and all that, that'll make this um, bolognese go a whole lot further than it normally would if I used just the mince. So I know the lighting's not ideal, I've got to sort that out eventually. Um, I am waiting on a light to do chatty vlogs and stuff, I don't know if it'll work great for these ones, but I will try. But anyway, it's like half past four and it's dark outside and the lighting in my house is just awful even during the day it's awful so I just have to make do so I'm just starting off by peeling and chopping up the garlic now I'm no Gordon Ramsay I can't do there's no finesse to my chopping I'm very bad at it but it all tastes the same to me whatever way it's chopped so just try and get this as small as I can get it. This garlic is just the Tesco 50p single garlic and it is very, very pungent, lovely and garlicky. Um, I could smell it as soon as I broke the cloves off without even peeling them. So normally I would use maybe three or four garlic, but I know this is quite a good, strong, pungent garlic. So I'm just using two. You could also crush this if it makes it easier for you. It's actually, it's actually quicker probably just to crush it in but next on to my onion I was going to add two onion because I'm thinking about all the extra speed that you can have but I've got plenty of speed I've got the aubergine I've got the courgette I've got mushrooms and I'm going to have maybe a little salad with it or some spinach or kale or something on the side so I'm not really desperate for the extra speed at this point oh they're strong as well they're really strong, my eyes are actually watering already and I've just peeled them, I've not even chopped them yet. I don't want any crappy comments about how crappy I chop my onions. I would like to say it's no finesse, just job it, job it. Gonna spray some fry light in the pan. By the way, I know my pan seen better days, but this is one of the best pans I've ever had in my life. It's cast iron. And it's just so heavy and durable. I think my mum had it for about 15, 20 years before I had it, and I've had it for a good 10 years. Just gonna add the onion and the garlic to the hot pan now. And I'll cook that for maybe two or three minutes until the onion's translucent. Oh, what a lovely smell. So that's looking good and it's time to add the mince. I'm just going to Pop it in. 
I had the quick rim. <clears throat> And I'll fry that until it's brown. So it's all nice and brown now, so I'm going to add my aubergine. Crochet. And my mushrooms. Now, I only use half of the crochet and half of the aubergine. Now, it looks a lot in a minute, but these will all keep down a bit. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of basil. And a teaspoon of oregano. Going to add the oxo to oxo cubes. Give it a good stir, make sure it's all even, or as even as you can get it. I've drained the kidney beans, I'm just going to add them now. And then we chop tomatoes. And the passata. I've just half filled the um, chopped tomato tin with some water just to add, give it some more moisture because I am going to cook this for about an hour. Just let all the t the spice, the herbs in that just marinate in it and I think the longer you cook it the better it tastes to be perfectly honest. Well that's my opinion. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I'll just add some now and then I'll come back in about half an hour and taste it and see if it needs any more. I am quite a salt lover though. I'm careful, I love them both. Well, that smells absolutely lovely. God, that might even go further than four meals. Packed with speed, guys. It's packed with speed. Right, I'm going to come back in half an hour and give it a little taste and see if it needs any more herbs or salt and pepper. So I've just brought that to the boil and I'm going to bring it down to number, well, I've got it at five to bring it to the boil and I'm turning it down to number three. So it just simmers for a little while. 
So this has been cooking for a good hour now. I've added more salt and pepper half an hour ago and it's all the juices I've reduced down in that. So that's ready. I'm just going to turn that off and leave it to cool a bit. And there it is in all its glory guys. I'm actually just going to have it on the spinach that I just fried with a little bit of olive oil fry light, salt, pepper and a garlic clove. Um, I'm really not in the mood for pasta tonight so there you go. It looks lovely. It smells even better. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!